When it comes to your website's mobile navigation, you want to keep things super simple because you're working with a small screen. But one neat thing about Show It is you still have the design freedom to add lots of personality and brand style to your mobile navigation. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit your Show It templates navigation for the mobile site. We're gonna keep this super simple and don't worry, it's not going to get too complicated. Editing and show it is really easier than it looks at first. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm a brand and website designer who fell in love with show it. And now I want to help you learn show it too. In case you missed it last week, I shared a tutorial on how to edit your site's desktop navigation. So I'll put a link to that previous tutorial in the description below in case you need it. But for right now, let's get into the tutorial on your show it mobile navigation. I'm going to switch to mobile only view and let's head over to the site tab and scroll down to site canvases. For your mobile navigation, it's actually split into two different canvases. One you'll see is mobile nav and one is mobile header. Your mobile header is this part at the top of the page here and that'll be there at the top of all of your mobile pages. So click edit mobile header and you'll see you have a space for your logo here. You can double click and choose your logo file or delete that image and just type out your business name in a text box. If you are using text in place of your logo, just make sure that you go over to text properties and change the text tag to div. That lets the computer know that this is just decoration. You'll also see an icon here, your hamburger menu icon. You can change the style of this icon over in icon chooser. And you can also change the color of it under your icon settings. And if you wanted to change the background of the canvas itself, just click on the background, then click canvas background, and you can change the color. Your hamburger icon is already set up so that when someone clicks on it, it will open your mobile navigation. So now let's go to your mobile navigation under site canvases. So again, you can just double click to add in your logo or delete this placeholder and just type out your business name. You can change the color of this icon just like you could with the other. And to change the background, just click on it and then choose a color. All of these fonts are following your default type styles for subheadings. But if you need to, you can change the font or the color and then you can hit command C on a Mac or control C on a Windows to copy a text box and then command V on a Mac or command V on Windows to paste it and then drag it down if you needed to add another text box and then you can go to size and position and center it on the canvas. You also want to make sure that all of your text boxes are linked to the correct pages You'll want to make sure blog is set to blog and not demo blog. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you update your mobile navigation. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now you've got your mobile navigation customized. And if you've already watched my other tutorial, you're good to go on your desktop navigation as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about how do you show it or just ideas for future tutorials, please be sure to leave those in the comments below as well. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll talk with you again soon. Mm -hmm.